What do you do when you have a sketch that won't extrude or won't fully constrain? Hey, this is Tyler back with Tech and Espresso. Today I want to talk about three tools you can use to troubleshoot your sketches. So the first thing I want to talk about is can you extrude it? Now, this is basically a fully defined sketch. It almost is. It's almost completely done. And we'll talk about that in just a second. But say your sketch looks something more like this. No dimensions, maybe a few constraints. This is still acceptable in Fusion. And when you're early in your design phase, this is totally fine because you can drag it and move stuff around. The reason that we fully constrain and dimension things is that when I make a change, that it's going to update but still obey the design content or intent that I have. It's going to edit well. That's the key with adding dimensions and constraints to make everything fully constrained and fully defined. It's fully defined when you know that there's a little lock and everything's turned black. So this sketch isn't fully defined, but let's go back over to this example. Will it extrude? If you hit E for extrude or revolve, if it's extruding, that's good. That's a good sign. And the entity itself is shaded. When it's not shaded, for example, when I look at this, I hit extrude, nothing happens. I look for shading, there's no shading. That's a bad sign. So first tool is the line command technique. What I like to do is come in with some sketch lines. You can do one or two. And I did two. Now these two areas are shaded, meaning they are good. There's no areas of concern or errors or problems. My problem is somewhere over here. Now if I drag the line, and I could even bring in another one, delete that and maybe sketch a line going across. So it's starting to kind of like narrow in. So it's somewhere in here. This area has the area where the problem is. So multiple different techniques you can do. You can delete lines and entities. You can zoom in and uh, investigate. When I zoom in, I can see that I did not complete or for some reason these were not made coincident. So if I drag it and make it coincident, now the sketch is fully shaded. That's a great thing. You can delete those lines. So first tool, use the line technique to find problem areas in your sketch. Number two, the drag it method. So this pertains more to when you want to fully define a sketch. So you've added a bunch of dimensions, you've added a bunch of constraints, but yet you don't have the red lock and it's not fully black. Okay, so what's missing? So when I drag at this blue line, I'm gonna delete this dimension, see what's going on here. So when I drag around, okay, it's not actually constrained to this point. So I'll select the two points. Sometimes the dragging works, sometimes it's better to select the two points and choose coincident. Now they're locked in. And if I drag now, the distance to the horizontal is missing. So do I want to define that? Sure. Let's uh, set this angle or set this distance of 15. It's fully defined. All right. Let's look at another example. So when I drag this one, it looks like it's moving off to the side. So I can perhaps put in an angle dimension to lock that in or maybe even a horizontal distance. Let's try putting in an angle. And there we go, it's now fully defined. The red lock showed up, terrific, much better. So what I wanna show now is one that pops up kind of often when you add sketch fillets to a sketch. I found that if you sketch something like this but add the sketch fillets after the fact, let me show you what that looks like. So we add a fillet to this corner. It's gonna add that in and add a radius and that's perfectly okay to do on your sketches if you wanna do it here. But I have found sometimes add it, getting this fully defined can be a little bit trickier. Now I want to introduce, um, there is the drag it method, which is my favorite. And when, you when you're not able to drag, sometimes I like to go in and delete and then move things around and figure out like what's missing. So, um, you know, I think if I were to put an angle here, 
It should fully define it. Much better. Now, is there a way for Fusion to list out what's not defined? And you actually can. And this is a shout out to Kevin Kennedy. Great job showing that video with the command line. So I want to introduce that. On Mac, it's Option, Command, C. Select all three, and then you can type in your sketch command. The sketch command is sketch.show under constrained. Hit enter. That'll pop up. The way you find this on Windows, it is control alt plus C for Windows. So once you have your command line, type in this command, and it's saying that I have three points and three curves under constraint. That is highlighting what I already knew, which is the problem was somewhere in this area where the blue lines are. Where this can be helpful is when someone accidentally sketched a line on top of a line, right? Or you have multiple entities showing up, and if you'd like to rerun the command, press up, and it'll pop that command again in your command prompt. Click OK, and it looks like I have, it's showing me additional points. I like that capability, that it's showing me kind of that there's a lot of extra stuff going on here. So if I were to come in here and select this little line, delete it, now it's still the same problem of what is moving and how do I get it fully defined? So I'm gonna come in and add a dimension like we tried earlier, an angle. Hey, so in the comments below, let me know where Fusion 360 messes you up as far as sketches, constraints, where you bump into errors, where that seems to show up. Love to hear that, love to hear your questions. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next video.